What up guys, it's Chris. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more about my NDI setup and some software that I've uh, started to integrate into the system and uh, just a couple tips and tricks on how I'm using everything with my Blackmagic ATEM switcher to... So, uh, excuse the mess. I know my studio is a little crazy right now, but um, we just got over a big gig at the end of the semester here when we're gearing up for graduation, so things are a mess. Um, let's just take a quick studio tour really quick. Let's look at the hardware uh, before we start getting too much into the software side of things. All right, so I'm using every other camera I have at the moment, so I'm just going to record this with my iPhone very quickly. But um, at the moment, right now, kind of home base for NDI is going to be this Dell Tower here with this Ballin HP 32-inch monitor that I definitely need to grab for myself. Um, so, yeah, we just have the, let's take a quick look, the NDI coming in the back. Nothing too wild. Uh, it's a little messy over there, but we'll talk about that. Uh, coming over here, you can see this is the um, the internet router. Underneath is the 10 gig switch that's powering all of the uh, cameras and such. I have three of the Bird Dog PTZ uh, P200s right around the room. There's one here. There's one up top there, and then there's one kind of behind me over here on a little tripod on a little counter. Uh, I still have no idea how to use that. That'll be in a later video. I was trying to recall stream, uh, sorry, uh, PTZ presets with the stream deck, but that's just going to have to wait uh, another week or so. Uh, so coming back this way, you can see our Black Magic Multi View, and we have one Black Magic camera that's going directly into the switcher. This bird dog is coming NDI into the uh, computer behind me and SDI into the switcher. Um, the other two, these two PTZs, are only NDI. And I'm using some uh, of the Bird Dog Flex 4Ks to catch that NDI signal and to get into uh, the switcher. So that is the um, three cameras. So the, the two Flex 4Ks, the one Blackmagic camera, and then the uh, SDI feed of the P200 right behind me. And... One of the things that I don't have is any encoders to, you know, do the reverse of this. So this is kind of a ghetto workaround, um, but it works. So I'm using another instance of OBS with the NDI uh, plugins to um, catch my program feed, which you can see is on the left hand, uh, sorry, the right hand side there. So just real quick, this is the back of the rack. I have an SDI coming out of my program feed there. It's coming all the way over behind here into a decimator, out of a decimator, and into the Aja UTAP, which is just a USB 3.0 capture card. Um, I swear by this thing. The only thing I will say is the reason the decimator is, is in line is because... I could not get the program feed directly into the Aja UTAP without there being some gnarly um, kind of interference or what I have seen as like some color space issues, but I couldn't seem to figure that out. My guess, or until I put the decimator in line, my guess would be that the Black Magic is outputting um, 3G SDI at a level B. Whereas everything else um, really in the world likes 3G level A. And I believe that's the reason why the Blackmagic is not talking to my Aja UTAP directly. So again, all we're doing is just uh, capturing the program feed of the ATEM into the laptop. And then through the NIC uh, 
in the back on this side here. It's just being broadcast into the uh, NDI network. All right, so now that we're back in front of the computer, um, I want to talk about one of the pieces of software that I have downloaded. It's called Kiwo View MultiView. Kiwo View MultiView for NDI. And um, so far, so awesome. I've been looking for an NDI MultiView solution to kind of help people monitor, uh, for example, the PTZ camera operator would need a multi-view if there was ever a technical director in one of the offices that just kind of wanted to watch everything that was going along if there was a producer that wanted a copy of the multi-view there's a lot of different instances for for a uh, thing like this so i have found this great piece of software and it's free it's in beta right now so i'm not sure how long it'll stay free but um, without further ado let's just kind of get into it so this is called um, key, this is the Kiwo View Multi View, and you can see that we have six different windows set up. You can see I have the three PTZs along the bottom, and the um, test pattern in the top right, an open slot underneath that, and then the, my OBS ATEM feed is going to be the largest one in the top left there. So. Yeah, let's just take a quick look at some of the settings here. Um, it's really simple and straightforward. So if we open open our settings tab, you can see at the top, you know, I have all these different ways of laying it out. I can look at a, a you know, big and small two, a, a medium sized two, the solid four by four, the one I've been rocking lately, which is the six by in the uh, larger top left variety. But if you had, you know, a bunch of different sources, you could go to the biggest one. Um, I also know one of their big selling points on this software is you can kind of stretch things kind of however you want to. Um, I haven't really messed with that yet because this particular layout is seems to be the best for me. Um, the other great thing is, you know, like most things, uh, Bonjour and uh, Studio Monitor, you can see your, and Resolume, you can see all of your NDI sources in the far right-hand side of the screen there. It's very simple. Just to grab an NDI source, I'll grab the, another copy of OBS and I'll put it in this empty slot. You just uh, drag and drop. And once everything is kind of set the way you like it, you'll just exit back out of settings and um, we're back into our multi-view world. And you can see it's sort of uh, Chrisception, if you will, <laughs> and Coffeeception. So, yeah, this is just a pretty straightforward example of this. Um, to me, this seems like the best solution for the time being, certainly for the money. I wish there was something included like this in the new tech NDI toolkit, but, you know, this is a, a solid option um, nonetheless. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview about how I'm kind of getting everything to and from and you know this great new software that I found and, and the multi-viewness if anybody has any other recommendations of NDI multi-view um, multi-viewers that would be killer oh one of the um, compelling things about this multi-view not the most useful to me but this can take uh, regular NDI or fat NDI as I like to call it and it'll also take um, NDI HX which is the little bit stripped down version of that um, Really haven't had any use, any uh, particular uh, time or place to use NDI HX as I've really only been using NDI for a couple months now. So, yeah, just trying to figure it all out. But that definitely is, to me, um, a selling point of this software is that it can catch all these different flavors of NDI, which is, is what you'd want, you know, a video device to do. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that um, this was helpful to somebody somewhere.